days after, Atiku's son tests for coronavirus. Muhammad Atiku Abubakara, a son of Nigeria's former vice president, has now tested negative for the COVID-19. I have just received my second consecutive negative result, Mr. Atiku Abubakar told Premium Times Monday afternoon. My discharge is currently being processed and I hope to be home this evening. The Nigerian Disease Control Office does not comment on individual cases. Mr. Atiku was first confirmed to have contracted the virus on March 19 and was subsequently transferred to an isolation center on the outskirts of the Nigerian capital, Abuja. The 31-year-old, however, failed to test negative for the virus until today. A 40-day ordeal that experts said could be amongst the longest ever recorded in the country since the first infection was confirmed in Lagos, February 27th. Coronavirus, whose latest variant COVID-19 has killed hundreds of thousands and sickened millions across the world, has an average of 14 days to run its course after infection. Most Nigerians known publicly to have contracted the COVID-19 were treated and discharged by the Nigerian Disease Control Office within 14 days. Why Mr. Atiku Abubakar took 40 days to recover from a disease known to me, no, mostly virulent amongst people, known to be most virulent Amongst people above 65 remained unclear. Although some scientists estimated the virus could last as long as 37 days in a human body. Alright guys, what are your thoughts concerning this new story? It is what it is. Finally, um, Atiku Abubakar son has tested negative. You recall that Atiku Abubakar's son, Muhammad, at some point, you know, uh, tested positive and uh, he made a video that um, explaining how he was feeling and all that and all that and all that. But however, eventually, from reports that are filing in, 40 days after, he has now tested negative to the COVID-19 disease. This will bring enough joy and happiness to his family uh, himself his fans well wishers and supporters uh, as finally he has won the battle against the COVID-19 you recall that his case drew a lot of concern from uh, people and Nigerians recently as to why he was still in detention uh, sorry in isolation center uh, after so long and uh, how many days in isolation. You recall that he tested positive even before uh, Abba Kiari, the former and the late chief of staff to the president. And while he, he started receiving treatment, even before uh, the late chief of staff uh, tested positive to the virus. However, the late chief of staff, you know, eventually died of the COVID-19 disease. And uh, up till now, up till yesterday, but until today, before Atiku Abubakar son, you know, came out negative. People were saying that he probably might not survive it or he probably had some other ailments or underlying ailments that had affected his quick recovery. At some point, it was also reported that he was taken to the ICU, you know, for further treatment, uh, and he was on the life-supporting machine to actually help him breathe. We don't know how true all these stories are, 
But from what we have heard today and from the reports filing in, you know, it has taken 40 days for the young man who is just 31 years old to recover from the disease. So guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story? Why did he take so long, you know, to actually uh, test negative? According to him, he just received his second test result, which is his consecutive negative result. So why, what kept him so long or what actually hindered him from recovering faster than expected or than this? We possibly cannot tell, but this would be a joy to his family, his father, and uh, his siblings, parents, all who love him and appreciate him as he finally has won the battle against the COVID-19. You recall that Atiku Abubakar, he was the one who came out to announce to the public that his son had tested positive to the COVID-19 disease and eventually was said to be receiving treatment. So, however, it's what it is. Atiku, Muhammad Atiku Abubakar has now tested negative to the COVID-19 disease. So guys, it's what it is. What are your thoughts concerning this particular news story? Why did it take him 40 days to actually recover? What could have been the issue? Is it possible that he had underlying ailments that actually affected things? Could it be that he also, uh, or probably he uh, was not taking his medications and obeying uh, the instructions and the treatment rules? Could that be the issue? You know, some might say that because he's the son of a wealthy man, he might be the one dictating um, issues to his health professionals. But at the same time, he has the resources, he has the money and all what have you, but he does not have the knowledge of how these things work. And uh, he probably should not be the one in charge, but his health professionals telling him what to do. But guys, be that as it may, we all know how these uh, wealthy children uh, or children of wealthy uh, parents can actually be. We are not saying that is the case, or that was what happened in the case of uh, Muhammad Atiku Abubakar, but we're just saying probably it could be the reason why he stayed longer. We, we stand to be corrected, actually, but be that as it may, concern, there are concerns, you know, as regards his taking over 40 days, or 40 days, to actually recover from the COVID-19 disease. So the question is, what happened and why did he take so long to actually uh, recover from the COVID-19 disease when other people who uh, actually who actually are in uh, general public isolation centers uh, recover within 14 days of uh, being tested positive after taking treatment and after being treated of the COVID-19 disease. So guys, it's what it is and um, that is just it. Well, people are taking 14 days. So we hope that uh, it does not happen again and uh, the articles, article of Bukharson does not um, suffer a relapse of this particular ailment. Uh, we don't know if he's going to go back to his family or he's going to still um, observe some distancing and all what have you so that um, he does not uh, he does not test positive again because we've heard that um, it's possible you know, that um, those who have actually suffered from the disease or tested positive could still test positive again. But be that as it may, uh, it is a thing of joy and a thing of um, celebration that uh, Tiku of Workers' 31-year-old son has now um, conquered the disease and he's now negative. So guys, what are your thoughts concerning this news story? How do you feel about this? Do you think that it took too long? Do you think that um, it's still okay? It doesn't be the most important thing is that he has actually recovered and he's now negative. Well, regardless of what you think, uh, we just need to uh, be thankful and we appreciate uh, the God for the survival of Tickle Bakarson. So what are your thoughts concerning this new story? Please kindly drop by at the comment section and let me know what your thoughts are. 
please don't forget to subscribe to this channel also do hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories thank you so much guys i appreciate your support and i'll see you on the other news bye for now and thank you